Hey, this is Matt Newsom with Proficient. I am in Domo again, and I want to show you today how easy it is to combine two data sets together. We'll continue to work with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration data here for vehicle complaints, and I want to combine it to vehicle recalls. So we'll use Magic ETL. Input source is going to be vehicle complaints. Now let's find the recalls. I've already brought this data in in earlier videos, so we don't need to do that again. I don't want to bring in all of the columns uh, in my ETL here, so let's pick some that we need. Model year is a good one. Make, model, let's find component, oops, summary, and component. And I know that looking at this data, we have the similar fields in each, so we'll just copy that and use it for recalls. Okay, now if we were to append this data together, we'd have five columns of data for vehicle compliance and vehicle recalls, but we have no idea where we got it once we get to our visualization. So let's create a card to add a field in our data set. We'll call it source. And we want it to be a text field, and this is complaints. And again, it's gonna be similar to what we do down below here, so we'll just copy it and connect it to this portion and just rename this to recalls. So now when we end this, we'll have six columns and our sixth one's gonna be this source column. And we'll combine data, append rows, append it from the complaints, connect it to the recalls, include all the columns, and then we would create an output. What we could do here too, if we wanted to, if we had a field that we needed to rename once we joined them together, we could add this select columns, click add columns here, and let's say this model year. We don't like the fact that model year is together. We could easily just do that. This output data set is going to be what our cards are pointing to for the visualization. So we're gonna call this Matt's car report. And I'll just copy and also make our data flow the same thing. So we want this data set to continually be refreshed as the data sources uh, get refreshed. So we're gonna go to settings and update when the sources get updated. And then we're gonna save and run. And here, if you wanna maintain version control and change management issues, you can do this here. You could add some uh, descriptions of what you've done and save and run. That's really helpful if you want to uh, maybe revert back to a previous version. I'm gonna pause the video here while this runs and I'll pick it up in just a second. Okay, our ETL is finished running. Took a minute and 41 seconds for this initial run to process 910,000 rows of data. Remember me telling you about the comments. If you ever wanna go back, if we say we had multiple versions of this uh, ETL because of edits and things, you can go back and create, uh, make current version, which would allow you to revert back to uh, a previous time when before you made a change. So let's take a look at our data sets. Our input data sets here, vehicle complaints, vehicle recalls, and our Matt's car report, this is what we produced. So let's click on it. Just take a look at the data. We got the model year with the space there now, make, model, summary, component, and then our source column. If you want to quickly just view in here and just get a spot check what you have, you can see our complaints and our recalls are in our source. Let's create a visualization on this data real quick and show you how easy that is. Add card. And we are already stuck here with um, stacked bar, not stuck, but they gotta guess at what you wanna see. And that's actually a good guess. We can change it to single bar if we wanted to, but Domo tries to uh, predict what you want. So we do want a stacked bar, so that's a good prediction there. So we're gonna close out of that. And we're gonna say, we want my series to be source. Our x-axis is the model year, that's great. Let's sort on the model year. So it goes from 49 to 2019, and as you can see, the complaints are a lot higher than the recalls, and there looks like to be a peak, what is this, 2006, that's great. So we can easily see uh, the activity of the, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration data here. So let's save and run this, or save and close. So here's our visualization. We have it, we can quickly see what's going on. If we wanna get more details, we can click into this. But while you're telling a story with your data, you probably don't want someone to click into a bar chart and then immediately go into the raw data. So you might want to create a different drill path so that maybe they go into here and then they go into makes and they go into components, that kind of stuff. So you tell your story in a, a little bit more appropriate fashion, uh, sort of guide folks versus let them uh, draw their own conclusions here while they're going to the raw data. I hope that helps you. And 
keep an eye on uh, more data and more videos to come uh, with Domo Data. Thanks.